Pratt and Whitney has been at the center of attention for difficulties with their production and also supply of engines for a considerable period now, and it doesn't seem to be letting up in any sense. As a result of all of this and more, aircraft worldwide that are powered by several engine types have been grounded or pulled from service for inspection, with varying severity for each airline, some getting away luckier than others. RTX has said that many GTF Pratt & Whitney powered engines need accelerated removals and inspections, focusing on the A320neo. This is the latest development in a long-standing difficult period for all parties involved. The rare condition, labelled by those close to the matter, highlights a powder metal used in manufacturing certain engine parts that now needs a crucial inspection. This would also mean, according to RTX, that a potential 1,200 engines could need to be inspected of 3,000 over a period across the next year, with some needing these inspections to take place sooner rather than later. That would be a smaller amount though. Some of the biggest customers that have been forced to deal with difficulties include Spirit Airlines, JetBlue, and others on a more minor scale. All these issues that I've made mention of in this video and the ones that were pre-existing are on top of the continued global shortage of engines for Pratt & Whitney forcing customers to lease aircraft to meet intense demand levels and ground existing planes as they wait for replacement units or routine maintenance to take place. And with every passing month with no real resolution to those supply chain problems, it means more planes are grounded and means more airlines are chasing ways to compete in markets. While the A320neo family is the focus of the latest guidance, other GTF affected engines stretch to many other aircraft families like the Airbus A220 and even Embraer with their E2 series. These are very important aircraft types for their respective customers. So as such, you can see that while the A320neo is normally the one talked about the most, for some airlines, we've seen the mass grounding of aircraft, as I've mentioned throughout this video, and for others in more special circumstances, and I'm looking directly at Indian airline Go First, were forced to suspend operations. And while there was many of things that needed to be uncovered about their grounding and suspension, worldwide, they did look towards Pratt & Whitney as one of the main catalysts, saying that the supply chain issues and the inability to get engines maintained meant they couldn't operate their fleet to an adequate level. This is on the extreme side, and while Pratt & Whitney rejected certain elements of the claims from Go First, what it does do for us is highlight the potential negative implications a shortage can really have on customers that rely heavily on Pratt & Whitney powered engines on board their aircraft. In terms of the resolution, in terms of a resolution for all of these problems, well, it kind of remains in a grey area. There's no real understanding when everything should subside, and while some airlines have been able to limit the damage, there are others that have been forced to ground many, many more. And, of course, with the supply chain issues continuing, the backlog will only grow. And with that, means more pressure on Pratt & Whitney, more pressure on the airlines, and it is a knock-on effect. Any thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for your support. Take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.